Hello everybody and welcome to Behringer and I have a little bit of a sort of not necessarily a tutorial I guess it's a guide I suppose I've had lots of comments on my China clay building and um, and I thought I'd sort of give some sort of I'm not sure whether to say advice because that sounds patronising but I just thought I'd let you know how I sort of do my go about my scratch building because a lot of the buildings on this layout are scratch built and this is purely um, down to um, my use of my imagination and just cost really and the various things that you can buy relatively cheaply and that won't break the bank and you can create yourself an, a fairly effective or pretty effective building now as you can see on this building here I've used various I've got some plastic card on here and there's another plastic card and this is the same plastic card as that and this has been treated in dye and has been treated also with some talcum powder um, I haven't finished weathering it at all but I just thought I'd give you a sort of guide as to how I sort of make it or show you how I make it I mean this here is just plaster bandage and it's just wrapped on top of a bit of scrap newspaper and then basically soaked it in glue and then just basically used a puffer bottle for the talcum powder and just literally shoved it all on there to create that effect of a china clay um, and it's all made out of card, it's, it's, it's a bit kind of like this roadway that I've just made as well, I said I was going to make a little path and this will also be clad in some more plastic cards in a sort of cobbled effect and if I just sort of take it up you'll be able to see how it's how it's, all it is it's just card in various layers and you can see there's three layers of card and you can see that the inner section is basically slightly smaller than the raised section and that creates the lip which then attaches to the rails um, on here and thus creating the roadway as you can see so I'm just gonna just prod it back in and basically then you've now got a car that can or the van that can just sort of run around and come across across the tracks now this one needs to be finished because this is only just one layer of card so I was just toying with the idea where it needs another layer so I will show you over at the workbench the sort of things that I use and need to do various scratch buildings here we are at the bus station end which is also scratch built and in the background you can see the Metcalf terraced houses and they are a rich source of um, materials that you can use to create further buildings. Here on my bench you can see various bits and pieces and this is all scrap in terms of leftovers and you can see all these windows from Metcalf buildings and you can just keep those and reuse them which is what I've done um, on numerous buildings and things. Also at the China Clay I've used China Clay, but I've used this piece of dowling which costs about, I don't know, I think it's about a couple of quid or so over at my local DIY. This is a scrap bit of wood and this is how it all starts off as life and then you attach it to a piece of card sorry, like that and all of a sudden you've got a side of a building and an office sorry um, and if I just show you like that that's what then you think it is so far how does that work I'll just show you that example right now this is the side of the building that I've just knocked up and if I show you the side of it it's exactly the same you can see like just like this it's just a scrap piece of wood attached to that back piece of card and that back piece of card is the side of the building here and then that's the piece of scrap piece of wood which you have here now that pit back piece of card is then either, is glued and pinned in using the, the Wilco contact adhesive which is really good stuff and now for this bit it's just this whole bit here is just one piece of card which has just been wrapped around so basically you 
then take another piece of card and you put it on the front and then you wrap it around as you can see I've wrapped it around to create the roof all the way around all the way around and then it's pinned again at the bottom to keep it its shape and that's just one piece of scrap card that's all it is it's scrap pieces of card if I turn it around you can see that window that's a Metcalf window from this from the buildings that are on the on the bus station the door is also is also left over from the Metcalf building and then you have the lintel here which is just a matchstick which I took off um, the platform that I took away from Barringer station and I just kept the matchsticks and cut it down so me repainting it and then we've clad the side of the building and this is here it is this is in the if I just show you what they are the stonework is which is this one here is SSMP um, where is it that's it 202 and that's the dressed stonework and the dressed stonework is this one here and then you've got the corrugated iron sheets and that's SSMP 216 and that's for the roof there and then I've used Humbrol mat and the Great Western Stone White Stone Great Western White Stone number 606 to do the to do the stonework now here the roof is just a great example of leftovers because basically I didn't have enough just for one piece to do the roof so rather than spend money on a new sort of um, packet of corrugated iron like this which has four sheets in it just for one small sheet or part of a sheet what I've done is of my box of tricks here I've got all these leftovers and basically I had some leftovers like this and that's how it starts off just plain plastic and all I've done is just created the, st the lengths that I need using the leftovers that I had glued them in and then just basically use some filler or putty which is what I did to blend in the lines and then basically once it was all dried it was a light sand and painted over and that's how it looks and the thing is it looks very patchy which is really a good look for this kind of because these buildings tend to be a bit like that so it's worked out really nicely and it's also the same along here you can see where it's because each each section is only so so high so you might have to marry up a couple of sections in order to get them to fit and what I do is I keep all my leftover pieces because you never know when they're going to come in handy I mean this is what they call the coarse stone if I try and see if I can remember what they are um, I can't this is a corrugated um, I'm not sure whether I can't remember what it is I used that for part of the bus station and I used it elsewhere as well um, you've also got plastic card stuff which is also in um, brickwork which I don't think you can see from there and then there's also wooden planking now these in, in, in themselves don't look like much because they just look like a load of offcuts but sometimes these pieces can be just added to other pieces like that for example and then you can create a much bigger piece and like I said you just use the filler to fill them all in and then you know, it saves a lot of money so I keep all this is about all my little loft cut my little loft cut box so if I've got little odd jobs like here I've got a little small bit here that, that needs to be dealt with now I was wondering whether contemplating whether to paint it or not or whether I was going to use some wood planking so I haven't decided yet on that also you get stuff like from the Metcalf kits you do get these sort of brick brick panels and all sorts of stuff and all these can all be reused to create buildings of some description like I said when you look at it like this it just looks like a pile of stuff but then if you use your imagination sometimes you just create something like this and it comes out quite nicely I'm really pleased with this some other useful tools you'll need when scratch building is like your scalpel that's always handy especially a sharp one a good sharp one um, also I mean I, I go through a lot of card at the moment just building buildings 
um, and then after also my steel ruler which I use and um, I will take you to where this is going to end up going. Now when this is all finished it will just sit there out of the way and this will be all glued in and filled in and then after it's obviously it's going to be weathered up so basically that's how it's going to look so if I just sort of try and do it from that side you can see how it's going to fit into that corner which is the reason why I haven't done the edge there because obviously you won't be able to see that because that's going to go straight up against the back wall and then over here we're going to be doing the chimney stack so this is one of the buildings that I've scratch built and there are a few so I'll take you through the rest of them too apparently you're looking at one of my other buildings that's under construction and this is going to be sort of like this industrial area that I'm going to be creating here with some warehouses here and I've just drawn a line in the middle to try and separate it to see how many warehouses I'm going to put in these windows and, door, windows and doors and the um, gate or, I should, um, or panel, I can't remember what you call them, the shutter I should say these are from scale scenes and it was done as a free download so they did a free download where you could download a free warehouse and to see how it's like to build it and they would say basically to introduce you to, to their products and basically I've downloaded it and basically I took out what I wanted from it and this is just a piece of card and behind that to give it the depth is just a piece of wood and that piece of wood is just like, like this and all that is is just basically um, screwed onto the back seam and that gives it a little bit of depth <clears throat> and then obviously this can then be clad in either the dressed stone plastic card or brick or something like that and then you can just work out how you're doing it and that's where I'm at at the moment I'm just trying to work out where the van the vehicles are going to go and how many warehouses I want to do whether it's going to be too big whether it's going to be too many um, and that's where I'm at with that also another handy little thing um, that I bought this is also from Ratio uh, sorry I think I think it's a wheels kit actually just trying to pick it up this is what happens when you've got no nails um, right is this little arch kit and that arch will basically go above there so you can put like the brickwork there the brickwork effect and then put that on the arch on top a bit kind of like what I did at the station which is where we're sort of heading to now <laughs> 